Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a slightly different video. I'm in Great Yarmouth at Great Yarmouth Pleasure Beach to do something I've never done before, and that's walk this roller coaster. Coming up to the highest part now. This is the most weirdest experience ever, walking a coaster when you're not on a coaster. first opened up as the Scenic Railway back in 1932. It opened up in May of that year. It was originally clad in plaster and concrete and sculpted to resemble mountainous terrain. What's unique about the roller coaster, it's required a brakeman to ride the train every single time to control its speed and to stop it at the end of the ride. There are no brakes on its track. It's one of the most popular attractions at the Pleasure Beach today. It's also the second tallest and second fastest wooden roller coaster in the UK. So I'm going to be walking this coaster. Crazy, right? Because uh, right now I'm just walking up as I would do. Obviously people come in here, scan their wristbands. And if you've been on the coaster before, you'll know that you'll probably be standing here waiting to get on it. I'm not actually going to be going on the coaster today, but uh, you can see there is a car here ready to go. So instead of going on the coaster, I'm gonna be walking the whole track, which is gonna be a first, and uh, Mark is gonna be showing me around. Hello, Mark. Hello there. So basically, you lead the way. This is gonna be very exciting. Yep. So obviously, um, walking the coaster, it's not something you do for most people. Nope. So I do appreciate this. Um, but obviously, we've had to pick the perfect weather conditions, haven't we? Yes, yes. Because obviously, it's, it's wood, and it gets, uh, very slippy. I always come round this bit actually on the coaster and yeah. I find it amazing. So what, yeah. there's, there looks like there's two different tracks here. What's that for then? Well basically, this is the points, the first two, they're there for coming in. You've got the pits around the side when you change the brakes and all that. Right. So when we take the cars off, all we'll do, press that one, to come in, and the car will come in. Yeah. And you go all the way around and all the way around to the pits. Wow. So that's how you kind of do the yep. maintenance for the cars. Yep, yep. So they're called cars, are they? Yes. yes they're cars, <laughs> I don't yeah. know what you'd yeah. call them. No, really, they're but... Called cars, yes, definitely. But this is correct. I suppose you could call it a train. Yeah, yes, you, could you could do. Could but we do call them cars. But what I love about this, uh, the coaster, is, is when you come in, you see all the different aspects of uh, all the internals, the wood. Yeah. And um, like you say, sometimes you'll see um, the odd car, which I can see just coming up yeah. on my... Yeah right hand yeah, side brake, obviously right there's a brake man yep. so you have to do extensive training right so obviously if i wanted a job right being a brake man yep what would i have to do well firstly you'd have to apply to work here and then it, hopefully you get lucky enough to be put on this ride but you could get put on any other ride you see so you can't request it well you can request it <laughs> but i don't mean you're going to get it wow okay you know so i can't say right that's what i'm going to do all day because yeah. i'm sure so many people must go on this coast and go that would be the best job in the world yes have you yeah. done that have you done the braking i did it for 10 years every day <laughs> when we're over 10 years <laughs> Was, what, is it the best job in the world it's all right <laughs> it's not I bet, too bad do that's you, the best ride to work on for that oh way. i bet when you get home right yeah. i bet your head's spinning you, you get used to it when you first go on it you're very nervous you even like it's a bit scary. Yeah. But when you've been around it so many times, you don't even feel the hills or the bumps or anything. Really? You, you can feel, if something's wrong, you can feel it because you're so yeah. used to it. Yeah. So I'll know that there's something wrong with that bit and I'll have to fix it. So it's like but, driving a bus. Yes. You you just get so used to it, you don't feel it anymore. You don't feel any of the G-force. You don't feel nothing. That's amazing. You, you're on it so much, you just won't, you just don't feel it anymore. So the training, right? So yep. when you have to become a brake man, yep. there's obviously certain points at the track yep. that you have to brake on. Yep. Now, as anyone may or may not know, when you come on this roller coaster, sometimes you'll get someone who will let it go a little bit faster, yeah, 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 and sometimes yeah. they'll be a little bit yeah. more cautious. Yeah, yeah. 
What were you, the cautious or the faster? I was in between. He was in between. <laughs> if you let it go too fast, all you do, make it harder on yourself. Because if you're, if you're going too fast and you're really slamming on the brakes, you're just yeah. going to wear yourself out. So you, 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 don't, you, just break, you don't break hard, you break smart. When you say wear yourself out, obviously that's a lot of work to yeah. pull the brakes down, yeah, yeah, is it? Yeah. It takes a lot of stamina. Yeah, yeah. Where you store the cars then? There's, there's one yeah, over there, there's one here. over there. Just quickly look at these cars. Basically here you change over, see, as well you change over. Yeah. So what, to go straight, I'd leave these ones in. Right. And to go around the bend, all I'll do is just take these out. Simple as that? Yeah, simple as that. And then just change <laughs> them over and we'll just push it round. Wow, and that's push amazing. Push it all the way round to come back out again. So look, at, that's, that's really strange. That's where, um, yes. that's the braking yeah. system then. Yep, that's just the braking system, yeah. You've got the brakes here, look. Basically, that gives SE contact. And as, they, as you keep braking, these wear, wear lower and lower. And that's when you change them. Wow. Yeah. So like, so similar to, to brakes on a car. That's to stop the car rolling back. Just so how old are these? These are all from 1964. That's totally amazing. Yeah. I've got to ask though, Mark, what are the seat's like? Oh wow, you don't even, oh you do, I can yeah, see some yeah, sponge there. Because yeah, yeah. that would blooming hurt your yeah. bum, wouldn't it? Yeah. It's where they go to sleep at night. So and someone would stand, place. go down there. Yeah, they go all the way down here. Get all gap to take the brakes off. Yeah. These come out and you just take undo the brakes and just slot them down. Simple. Yep. Can I try sitting on there? Yes, it's hard, yeah, yeah. To be a brake man in your armus. <sighs> oh, I say what's well, comfy. It's not bad. The only thing that I find amazing is that um, with passengers, they've got yeah. little restraints. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The brake man has nothing. You have, you got, you got oh, does he? Yeah, he does belt. have a seat belt. <laughs> yeah, you got Because a yeah. lot of people see the brake man and yeah. think, well, how is he just sitting on yeah, there like yeah, that? Yeah. But yeah, he does have a seat belt. I'm going to see if I can test my strength. So you hold that in. Yeah. Hold the handbrake in like that. Yeah. Both feet on the pedal and lift backwards. So you put your feet on there like yeah. that. And lift backwards. And then lift it. Oh, that's all right. Yeah. God, I tell you what, I wouldn't want the pressure. So I guess the first time that somebody does this, yes. it's very nerve wracking for yeah. them because they're like, <laughs> and I often time. see as well, the brake man always turning around as well. Why do they do that? Checking that people are putting their hands out the side. Right, okay. And the emergency light, emergency uh, chain buttons and all that. They're not sure. pressing the buttons, so that's basically what they're doing. That. And the question is, because I always get confused, some yeah. people don't, should you put your hands in the air when you go on yes. a roller coaster? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, perfectly yeah. safe. Just start at the side. <laughs> but it's, just not at the side. Yeah, it's, nowhere, it's nowhere above you. <laughs> Even like down the big dip that looks like you're close. Yeah. No, you're not. I'll tell you what, there is a drop on this coaster yeah. though that everybody ducks. Yes, yes, it's yes. It's that yes, hidden yes, dip, yes, which yeah. we will see in just a moment. Was, was the Pleasure Beach originally on the beach? Because I can see sand down there. This whole area is all, was, well basically it was all underwater originally. This is all we claimed land. It's all beach, yeah, basically everything's on the beach. Because it's like other pleasure beaches, they were originally actually on the beach and we yeah. can see the sand down here. It's amazing, in actual fact, it's amazing how many uh, hotels along the seafront down in their basements yeah, 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 actually yeah. have sand. Yeah, because yeah, the yeah. sand used to go up to the, the wall in Great Yarmouth, yeah, yeah, yeah. which a lot yeah, of people yeah. don't realise. Yeah. It's good to see that that's oiled, Mark. Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> I, I guess that's constant, right? That you have yep. to oil this, like literally yep. all the time. Yeah, yep. obviously you get a lot of rust with uh, the rain. Yeah, this is very strange. Which side should I be on? It's best this side because you've got the hand rail. Right, okay, yeah. so I'm gonna cross over. Yeah. So there's an emergency button just there if yep. you ever get into any problems or difficulties. Yep. And so uh, I heard the horn. That means there's a uh, something's on the track or something. Right. The horn will go, and you'll press the motor stop button, in, or the person at the bottom will press the motor stop. Button. Oh, I see. So they full can safety. Down the as well, yeah. So yeah. Leave, and it's amazing just standing here and looking down there. Look at that. That's obviously the, uh, I would say the biggest drop yeah, of the coaster, isn't it? It's the hidden one, yeah. as well. But we'll continue walking up here. Look at that. You don't like heights. <laughs> so how often, Mark, do you actually have to come up here and do maintenance? Um, well, that, that could be any time. You know, yeah. Any time there's a problem, we'll come up here or we've got to change a section. 
So do you, do you have to come up and inspect the track? Do you have to walk it every day or? Every day we're open. Yeah. Every morning we have to check it. Wow. So you have to do this walk every day pretty yeah, much? Yeah, uh, when we're open every day we'll have to check it. It's good exercise. You have to because you can't miss nothing being on the track. No, of course. It's, um, obviously I think we're on the, uh, we're coming up to the highest part now of the, uh, the roller coaster. So that's called the flower bowl. Yep. And that hasn't changed actually in years, no, has no, it? I can't remember being different. No. And at night, of course, it's always great to uh, to see that lit up as yeah. you go over. Yeah. And so these traffic lights here, if the one, there's only one car on the track, yeah, really the traffic lights don't really matter because you've only got one car. You can't right. crash into the other two, I think. Sure. But so, if there's two cars on the track, obviously you have to obey the traffic lights. Because it is quite unique to yeah. see traffic lights on a roller coaster. It's not something you see every day. This is crazy. I never thought I'd be yeah. right at the top of the if coaster. Best walking in the middle. Right, the okay. Track, yeah, because yeah, it's probably... Yeah. yeah. This is totally amazing. I'm right at the top now of the roller coaster in Great Yarmouth. This is, uh, this is just crazy. I'm just literally walking the coaster with Mark, who's, I better catch him up actually. It's, uh, it's, it's amazing because I can see, if you don't like heights, just look at that. Yeah, yeah. Wow. That is, uh, that is high. Yeah. I feel this, <laughs> I feel this creaking. 23 meters. Like Should I go, is it better to go backwards, Mark, no. rather than forwards? No, it's I'd, better to go forwards. It's best to go forward, yes. Right. Because well, you're, uh, Talking and at the same time, it's a little bit hard. <laughs> it is. You, you, you need to look at the trend, you see. Right, okay. I can't say I've ever done a walk like this before, walking down the coaster. So, this little contraption yeah, here. This bit of sensor here, yeah, the car will go over it. Yeah. And that'll tell the, that'll, that'll change the lights in the station to green. Ah, so that's why. Obviously, that one will still be red. Yeah. But the one in the station will be green. So right. Because they, they used to have five, five cars going around, you see. Go, once you come over here, the next car would go out and the bike, every time you go around, the next car would go out when it goes past here. Cool, with That's five it. cars going around, you're not going to have to wait long to get on it, are you? Oh, no, no. <laughs> so it's, it's normally just two cars now, then? That's a, a, it's a lot, of, two cars a lot at the moment, yeah. Yeah. This year, two cars a lot. So obviously these were put in for this purpose, right? Yeah. This is what they're here for. Yeah, yeah, walk, yeah definitely, yeah. Now you do sometimes obviously see this as you go around there, but yeah. um, a lot of the times you probably can't see this because this but is here. When but, you're on uh, the car, you won't be able to see down there. No, that's amazing. Yeah. And obviously you can see, is that the uh, monorail, the monorail that, that goes through there? Wow. Well, look at that. Right, so we continue walking around this piece of history. This is where the track kind of slightly uh, turns, doesn't it? Or angles itself. Yeah, yeah. So from the distance here, we can actually see the, uh, the new bridge. Where that, see that, that tower over there? See that, the white... Uh, oh, I see, there? right, yeah. A spit to the right to that. That's, That's where the new bridge go, is yeah. gonna be then. What's strange is because I've been on this coaster so many times, it doesn't feel alien to be walking it. No, no, no. Which no, is weird, no, yeah. but obviously, um, walking I can stop and just take in the views when you first work on it where the changeover points that's where you that's why it's hard to remember when you first work on it yeah because there's loads of places you can just change over and go down another bit so you won't go right round just oh change I see over. right yeah so, okay and so I guess um painting must be a bit of a pain in the bum yes, yes. <laughs> because Basically, of the elements scaffold up all the time through the paint yeah, yeah. I remember as well, correct me if I'm wrong, didn't there used to be loads of little lights along here as well? Yes. They must have, if, yes. when the bulb's gone on there, that was probably yeah. why they were taken off, because I bet that yeah. must have been a right pain. What we, I think what we're going to get, we're going to get up lighters, so the oh, right. lights shine up, they're easier to maintain, yeah. obviously, and easier to get to. An LED, of course. LED will be, yes. And yes. That, that will look so we good. We have LEDs, but they didn't last as long as we thought they would, so that's no. why. That's because of the weather, isn't it? And yes, uh, yes. the constant wind and oh, stuff like that. The North Sea, yeah, yeah. yeah, definitely. Another traffic light there. So this is the point on the coaster that you never see coming. And it's the point of no return <laughs> because it is such a drop and it really makes your belly go. And I can't believe, <laughs> this little look at Mark, he's just like walking down just casually. Can't believe I'm doing this. So, Mark, just out of interest, what kind of speed would you be going as you get to the bottom there? I would say it's probably 
35 miles an hour, something like that. Really? Is that all? But it feels a lot faster. It does. In the confined space, you're low to the ground. Yeah. It does feel a lot faster. Right. Oh, that's but why then. And this is the bit where <laughs> when anyone goes on it, they duck, yes, including yes. myself. Yes, but yes, yes. as we actually come down here, you can see, although I guess this is part of the coaster, but this was probably, was this put in to make people think they're going to hit it? Sounds stupid. I don't, I don't think it is because that's part. Uh, you do need it there because that obviously holds the post yeah. apart. So but it also works yes, both but, ways. But uh, <laughs> they probably did. They yeah. probably did think about something like that as well. That's amazing. Look at that from this angle. It's crazy. So yeah, when you put your hands up, they are not going to touch it or hit it. <laughs> See, as I go through here, I'll be ducking the whole time. This is the most weirdest walk I think I've ever done. I had that creak then, Mark. Well, I'm okay, aren't I? It is going to creak. It's yeah, a, it's yeah, it's wood. It dry, it dries. It's all water, so it will creak. And it's, and it's a coaster that has been here for uh, how long, Mark? This is from 1932. 1932. This actual coaster from 1932. Obviously, it's been built up over the years, so it's got bigger. And before that, that was a, basically just like a one level or two levels. Oh, was go it? Around. You actually see the layers of wood just on the side here. I don't want to guess how many tons of wood are used on the coast. <laughs> probably quite a lot. Now, I know what you're going to say. You're going to probably say, do they do tours? No, they don't. So this is pretty exclusive. And I have to say a massive thank you to Aaron at the Pleasure Beach for letting me do this because it is quite a unique experience. It's amazing to be walking on a piece of history like this and uh, just looking back down there. This must really work your calf muscles. Yes, it's, yes. It's <laughs> when you haven't done it for a little while, you do know it's... What can we see over here? Wow. And I, and I think this is quite interesting because um, there's like a perfect little shed in the middle. <laughs> that's the snails tunnels, that is. Oh, that's, that's the, the snails, snails right? tunnels. That's the entrance where you come through the tunnel of the snails and this is the exit where you go back out again. Oh, I see, back right. To the station. Yep. I know it sounds stupid, but you don't realise how much wood is yeah, actually yeah. on this coaster. It's, oh, yeah. it's crazy. As I was coming up the coaster, I remember seeing there was a, uh, a little, there used to be a little door and a little, yep. what, what's that room then? That's the chain room. Oh, the chain room, okay. Yeah, that's where the uh, top of the chain, motor of the chain is. Oh, I see, right. Because yep. I always used to see that walking down on the promenade just yeah. there, where I used to see yeah. a little room and I was like, what's in there? I want to go in there. <laughs> so Mark, can I ask you how long yep. you've been working here? I started on the rides in 2006 and I started on maintenance in uh, 2007. You've been here a while now then? Yes. So as a kid, did you come on the coaster? Hell yeah, I've been here. Hell yeah, I've been here. Did you ever times. think that you'd uh, become an integral part of uh, the roller coaster when well, you grew up? No, no. That's, you see, everyone you know in the whole area yeah. has got someone who's either worked here or connected to the place. Yeah, that's, that's quite nice, I yeah, think. Yeah. Oh, as well, yeah. Because that's, yeah. uh, that's quite. I'll meet people. I've even met people like someone who lived on my road and I've never seen him before and he worked here. So you can see the snails track literally. And I love the fact that through the roller coaster you've got the snails and you've got the monorail yeah. that kind of all sweep through yeah. it. It gives it, and especially when you go on the snails, yeah. it gives it a really good perspective. Yeah of the, uh, the inner workings of the coaster. Yeah. And even when you go on the monorail, because you obviously go through that hole just oh, up yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We've still got some of the track to walk. We've got to, got to walk down there, up, and then another round trip before we come. Oh, we've got to come up there. Oh, we've got a long way to go yet. Wow, really okay. Third at the moment. Right, let's do it. <laughs> so obviously this is a double dip. This makes your belly go, right? This is the place where you do feel like you can leave your seat when you're, when you're sitting on the chair. <laughs> yeah. That's what you've got the belt there, you see. Because that's what I said, I've often worried about the brake man coming out of his chair. <laughs> yeah, no, he's got the belt on, but he's not going to go anywhere. Obviously, there's no easy way of coming down these. <laughs> It's weird, it doesn't feel as strange as I thought it would do because it feels like I'm just on the coaster but just going really slow. So this is the point when you have to get ready for your photo. A lot of people, including myself when I've been on here, miss this completely and you get that awkward face on you when you come round. But you can see the top part of the coast is just up there. And the other question mark, obviously, is um, is it better to be on the front or the back? Because obviously most people who have been on coasters before would say it's the back. Well, when you go on the front, you kind of hang over the edge a little bit yeah. before it kind of pushes you down, doesn't it? Yeah. 
Well, you get people who say like the back's fast, then the front, which is impossible because <laughs> one car. But that's very true. But uh, that does feel faster at the back. I think for me, this is my favourite part of this coaster because you do pick up quite a lot of speed as you go down here and then up there. You've got a nice long track, haven't you, really, yes, where you yes. uh, you get a nice bit of speed going on. This is called the gradient. As you go up, that's called the gradient. That is. And this is where your photo gets taken as well, yes. where most people forget or they're looking quite fearful. And actually, why... Well, a silly question. Why yep. is it here and not on the biggest drop? It used to be at the big drop. Oh, it did? Yeah, oh yeah. You, you see the metal uh, collars that went across? Yeah. It used to be on them. Oh, I see. Right. Originally it did. But here, it's easier to get to. And you probably, because it's not going so fast, you get a better picture. Nice bit of long track here. And it's quite interesting because you look at it and uh, you think it's straight, but it's not. Or it doesn't look like it's straight, or is that just slightly deceiving? I, know, I actually okay. now know when yeah. I come down here, it does, it does wobble yeah. a little bit left to right. So now yeah. I know why it does that. It's all down how level it is, you yeah. see? And obviously as, as it gets older, you've got sand under, so you might be lower than you were originally on the right or your left, and you will feel it as you go over it. Yeah, Cause amazing. Because obviously it moves over time. So are you mark the person that also has to replace bits of wood like yes, that yes. do you have you cut them in your workshop i guess no do you? we have all them made yes. where do you where do you get them done then uh all different places to be honest it's, over the years it's been all different places all, all around europe so why can't you just do them yourself you okay. could but that costs a lot more money to cut them yourself you'd have to play them to the right size cut them to the ah. right size so that'd be a lot of wastage see whereas they do it for you there's no wastage because they're cutting dead size you want them but you would say maintaining this coaster is uh, a 365 day a year job yes Yes. Wow. Is the roller coaster haunted? Oh, definitely not. <laughs> definitely De not? Definitely not. No, that will be when we put our Halloween spectacular. It <laughs> will be there. Good that answer. It will definitely be haunted then. It's, it's a strange question to ask because it's been here for a long time. Yeah. And, and obviously, how can you answer that? Because obviously there is, uh, well, there's some little tunnely bits, but um, yeah, yeah. you say they're not haunted. Yes. You've had no spooking goings on. No, 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 definitely not, no. So this is pretty iconic to be standing here where the sign of the Pleasure Beach Great Yarmouth is behind me. And you get an amazing look at the, uh, the Pleasure Beach from here as well. So right now we're the same height as the, uh, the monorail. So how long does this take to go round when you're on the ride? Yes, well, it can be all different, that's all conditions. Say if it's wet and it starts raining, that'll go a lot faster. Oh, will it? If it's rusty, it'll go a lot slower. So it can be different all the time. Every day it can go different speeds. Oh, okay. Every single day will be different. Yes, it can go a lot faster. In so, wet conditions, that can go a lot faster. So a top tip, right? If you do like roller coasters and you want to come on here when it could possibly go the fastest, I say possibly, Obviously, when it's wet. Not too wet, though. Not too wet. Because <laughs> it gets too wet, then it slows down. Oh, it's slow. Oh, really? So oh, it has well, to be just the oh, perfect yes. conditions, yes, yes, then? Yes, When it first starts raining, that will go really fast. Oh, really? And okay. then, but if it rains all day, that will slow down. Like any other roller coaster, they all slow down. So time it well. I think when you're actually on the track and you look up and you go through here and you see all the, uh, the track above you, it looks so good. See where the monorail comes out there. And then we've arrived in the station where there is a, a coaster ready to go. Most of the time it runs on gravity and you kind of, uh, you'll see the guys often pushing this. Can I see, if, is, is the brakes on? <laughs> I'm gonna see how easy it is to push this, right? Mark's just taking the brake off. Here we go. Let's just see if I have the power to move it. No. <laughs> ah, you see, that's the skill. Look at that. The next excited passengers. So that took us 45 minutes to walk around. Absolutely amazing. It's amazing, just even walking through the coaster is an experience. 
and obviously if you've always wanted to know how do they get from one side to the other there's these little gates they can walk through <laughs> and step over make sure no train is coming if they need to get to this side that's how they do it so Mark has given me extensive training and I'm good to go so next time you come to the pleasure beach you never know I might no I won't be really I'm only joking that would be amazing though but you say you never get bored of it no 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 it's the best ride to work on 100%. Best ride to work on, best life to have, being a brakeman at Great Yarmouth Pleasure Beach. Onwards! It's just too stiff. I just want to say a massive thank you to Mark and Aaron for letting me walk the coaster. It truly was an amazing experience. Please make sure you give the video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and click the notification bell so you know when I upload a new video. And I'll see you next time. If you fancy seeing more from Great Yarmouth Pleasure Beach, make sure you check out the link in the description for their YouTube channel.